Best places to visit in Colombia, South America. Cast all of your outdated ideas aside, like drug wars and gangsters, and you'll find that Colombia is a nation brimming with confidence and rushing headfirst into a more peaceful and prosperous future. In this land of contrasts, you'll encounter snow-capped Andean peaks, tropical Amazonian jungles, turquoise Caribbean coasts, and two sun-kissed deserts. You'll also find a host of spectacular attractions at the places in between, from the bustling cities of Bogotá and Medellín to the quiet colonial village of Mompox. Above all else, the famous Colombian hospitality will undoubtedly find you coming back for more. One Medellin. Bogota might be the Colombian capital, but it's the smaller and more manageable city of Medellin that tends to capture the hearts of visitors. Medellin was dubbed the most dangerous city in the world in the early 1990s, but a quarter of a century later, it has earned a reputation for something entirely different: innovation. The city boasts cable cars linking the settlements in its hills to a modern metro system in the valley below. A green belt of lush, eco-parks, and striking libraries and community centers in some of the poorest neighborhoods. A great day of sightseeing might start in the old quarter at Botero Plaza, where you'll find a collection of 23 portly sculptures donated by the beloved Colombian artist Fernando Botero. Adjacent to the plaza is the must-visit Museum of Antioquia and the striking Rafael Uribe Palace of Culture. Before you reach Guatape, if you're coming on the bus from Medellin, You'll be tossed off the bus at El Peñon, a huge rock that screams, Climb me! <laughs> 2. Carno Cristales Cano Cristales is the most beautiful river in Colombia and perhaps one of the most unspoiled natural places to visit in this diverse country. Cano Cristales is located inside the National Natural Park La Macarena in the department of Meta in the eastern region of Colombia known as the Plains. This is a unique natural wonder due to its outstanding combination of colors like yellow, green, blue, black and especially the red color given by the subaquatic plant, Macarenia clavigera. This plant lines on the floor of the river and turns red during the wet season, from June to November. During this period of time the water flows too fast and deep obscuring the bottom of the river and cutting off sunlight that turns the Macarena clavigera red. The other colors are given by the minerals found on the rocks of the river. Here, you can trek along the three branches of the river to see the spectacular succession of rapids, waterfalls and natural pools running throughout the old rocks of the canyon. You can take pictures. Swim or just enjoy the astonishing views of this paradisiacal place. 3. Tayrona National Natural Park The Tayrona National Natural Park is another place of immense natural beauty with a high diversity of fauna and flora. The park lies at the Caribbean coast near Santa Marta. It is home of the most beautiful beaches in the country. 
You can spend a day hiking along its rainforest ecosystem and sandy beaches, and have the opportunity to swim or practice snorkeling at some of the beaches where it's safe to do it, you'll find some of the best beaches in Colombia within the protected Tayrona National Natural Park, which is known for its palm-shaded coves and crystal-clear coastal lagoons. Most beaches are set against the dramatic mountains of the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta, whose rainforested hills make for a great side trip on any beach vacation. Tayrona is also a fantastic place for snorkeling at protected areas near La Piscina Beach and Cabo San Juan. Though remote, these secluded beaches aren't exactly a secret, so it's best to visit in low season, February to November, to avoid the massive crowds. Also, unless you're paying for the lavish eco-habs Tayrona, be prepared to sleep in a tent or hammock at one of the many beachside campgrounds. Four, Cartagena. Cartagena is the capital city of the Colombian Department of Bolivar and is located along the central part of the Colombian Caribbean coast. Cartagena was declared a World Heritage Site in 1984 for its historical importance as a port city, as well as for its impressive fortification. It was one of the first cities founded in Latin America so its colorful streets are full of history. It is within the walled city that you will find the historic heart and soul of this colonial city. The architecture, the historical sites, the colors, the sounds, the aromas and the atmosphere within the walled city are not only inspiring, but many say they also come together to create the perfect ambience for a little romance. Spend a few days in this beautiful city and also visit the spectacular Islas del Rosario. Five, Mompox. Mompox is a stunning Colombian town renowned for its architecture, culture and its great natural surrounding landscape. Mompox is a town frozen in time. While the rest of the country has evolved and modernized, Mompox looks pretty much as it used to be during colonial times, for this reason, it was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1995. Santa Cruz de Mompox, its official name, is located in an island surrounded by an arm of the Magdalena River. In the Momposina depression between the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta and the Sierra de San Lucas. The town was founded in 1540 and was an important trading center during the Spanish rule due to its strategic location. The Magdalena is Colombia's longest river and was the main transport route from the Caribbean coast to the center of the country during colonial times. Mompox was also a safe place for the Spaniards to keep gold and other treasures protected from the siege of pirates and a refuge for the families running away from the pirate attacks in Cartagena. Six, the Salt Cathedral of Zipacura. The small town of Zipacura is famous for its salt mines and for the salt cathedral built inside the network of monumental chambers and tunnels that were left behind when commercial mining operations ceased. This cathedral is unlike any other in the world, in terms of its innovative architecture. 
It was opened in 1995 and represents an eclectic mix of religion and architecture to maximize protection from the ever-present risks of working in a mine. The stations of the cross path across the mine is a poignant representation of Jesus's last moments, which culminates in the three-part cavernous subterranean cathedral. Visitors are impressed not only by the incredible engineering work and sculptures but also by the religious meaning and importance of this place for the miners. Seven, Bogota. Bogota, sometimes referred to as the Athens of South America, was first settled by indigenous peoples, though the founding date is generally set at 1538 by a Spanish explorer. Today, the city is one of the largest cities in South America in Colombia's capital. Once considered a place to avoid, Bogota has cleaned up its act and is fast becoming one of the best places to visit in Colombia. Located at 2,640 meters 8,660 feet in the Andes, Bogota has numerous attractions to entice visitors, including a planetarium, gold museum, botanical gardens, cultural events and a thriving nightlife. The city's historic district can be found at La Candelaria, a pleasant quarter of cafes, churches and museums. 8. The Alpine Circuit, Susca, La Mesa de los Santos, La Florian, Coqui National Park. Susca, La Mesa de los Santos, La Florian, and Coqui National Park are the top alpine destinations in Colombia. Susca, about an hour drive from Bogota is a small alpine community situated in the heart of Colombia's central Andes range. Here, Colombia's premier rock climbing site offers classic and sport routes that span beginner to 5.13 c. With more fun to be had kayaking, mountain biking, and spelunking. La Mesa de los Santos, located 50 kilometers from Bucaramanga in the Santander department is home to over 100 roots carved in the sandstone, known as La Moyara. La Florian, five hours north of Bogota in the Boyaca department, is Colombia's best-kept climbing secret with about three dozen climbs, all 5.11 and higher, mostly found around a limestone cave. Continuing northwest across the Boyaca department, Access El Coqui National Park via the town of Gikin. This massive 306,000 hectare park features vertical sandstone walls and more than 20 snow capped peaks. Friendly staff and guides meet you in various mountain chalets and guide houses throughout the park and are an invaluable resource. Panoramas of High Alpine. Jagged peaks are only obstructed by the country's tallest accessible peak, Rita Cuba Blanco, 17,749 feet. 9. The Lost City Colombia's most popular hike is undoubtedly the four-day, 44-kilometer trek to Ciudad Perdida, a lost city hidden deep in the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta Mountains that was only rediscovered in the 1970s. Built and occupied by Tayrona Indians between the 8th and 14th centuries, this ancient city is said to be one of the largest pre-Columbian settlements discovered in the Americas. 
Much of the site remains buried beneath the thick jungle quills. The modern indigenous inhabitants of the area have banned excavations, but you'll find that the stone terraces and stairways are in outstanding shape. It's not possible to visit this site alone, so you'll need to book a tour from Santa Marta in advance. Ten. This is here. Picture the Amazon, and Colombia may not be the first country to come to mind, which is odd, because about a third of the nation is blanketed in its thick, and often impenetrable, jungles. The capital of the vast Amazon basin is the small frontier town of Leticia, which sits along the banks of the mighty Amazon River, right where Colombia bumps up against Brazil and Peru. Leticia makes a great base for ecotourism, wildlife safaris, or hikes into the Amazon to learn about the indigenous tribes that call this area home. The only way to arrive here is by plane from Bogota, and you can continue onward by boat either downriver to Manaus, Brazil, or upriver to Iquitos, Peru. Thank you for watching my video. Please, like, comment and subscribe.